Monday. I sound like absolute crap. And I like feel it. <sighs> Tired. Um, I went to sleep about 12 o'clock last night. And got up at um, quarter past six this morning. <sighs> Just not enough sleep. <coughs> I was like, oh yes, I'm going to have an early night tonight. What a strange bit of hair there. Head's gone really flat at the back. Um, I was like, oh, I'll have like an early night tonight. I'll get to sleep as soon as I get in. But then I remembered I have to go get Percy from my auntie's where he's been. And I have to watch Game of Thrones. So I shall be doing no early night tonight. Um, don't really have much planned this week. It's going to be a bit of a boring one. Oh, no, I'm off to a champagne party on Saturday night. Yes. It's not actually, I'm not actually invited. I'm a plus one. Um, That's about it. Oh my God, that sun. Oh, I'm not used to the sun. I have to be unbelievably tired. And I can't get my camera right because the sun from the window is just coming in. Um, it's about half past seven in the morning. I'm going to have a little read of the internet. And then I'm going to go to work. There was so much to do at work. <sighs> Excuse me. There's um two people off at the minute on holiday, so I have their email boxes to monitor and their phone calls to field. And um, we have like a really big project on, which means I have to help with that project, along with all my other projects. It's going to be a long week, a long, long week. Hopefully I can um, get some sleep to make it a bit better. But I'm going to go now. I'm going to go read the internet, see what it has to tell me about the world. And then I'm going to go to work. Possibly get a Starbucks. Because... Big yawn. Very tired. Also, how... <clears throat> My face is like a completely different colour to my hand. Yep. I'm off. Bye. Enjoy your Monday. Although this will be like Wednesday. You're seeing this. Enjoy your day. Whatever day it is. Bye. Hi guys. So as you can see. Percy's having a little nap. In the most awkward of positions. He was right up on my chest a moment ago, like a proper baby cradled. But, um, I had to pick my phone up and then he got disturbed. So he's resting on there now. So he's like, can you see his back legs, like in the most awkward position? What are you doing, Percival? It's a bit of a wretching, resting bitch face you've got going on there. Yeah, it is. Ooh, what's this? He doesn't look happy at all. Let me try to turn you around. Um, went and got a taxi to my auntie's and then got my mum to pick me up. Picked up Percy and brought him back. My auntie said he's been an absolute little bugger. Um, apparently he's been um, climbing up a wall. She's got like wallpapered walls and he's been digging his claws in and proper climbing up them. It's a good job that they find him cute and funny, otherwise I'd be well out of a cat sitter. Because they keep... Something's flashing on my camera and I don't know what. It's like that. That kind of that kind of sign. With um, like a no entry sign in it. <clears throat> I have no idea what that is. But yes, they said that they find him very cute. And that I've not to send him to a cattery and they'll look after him. But... Lord knows why, because he's absolutely such a little shit. I shouldn't say that, because he's cute when he wants to be, like when he was laid there then, but 70% of the time he just runs around like he's got a rocket up his ass. He's seriously so energetic, and I'm just sat here like, how do you get this energy? Can I have some? I need it too. Um... So apparently he's had fun on his little vacay, but he's been a very naughty boy. 
Oh. Morning everyone, it's Tuesday morning. Um, Still knackered, still not enough sleep. Didn't get to sleep till about half past 12 last night. Um, I'm vlogging now because I'm having like a proper proud moment. Percy usually attacks me at about one in the morning and I have to lock him outside of the bedroom. But last night he, he stayed asleep all night in the bed. Didn't attack me until quarter to six this morning. Which, um, I get up at six anyway, so I can deal with that. But yay, proper proud parent moment. Hopefully it's not just a fluke and he keeps on doing it. Right, I'm going to have to go because I need to go to work. I just wanted to share my proud moment. Hi guys, it's Friday. Yay. It's been such a long, long, long ass day today. But we have some excitingness. Okay. So it might not be exciting for you, but it's exciting for me. Um, I've just got my Benefit Brow stuff in. I picked up from work today. Um, and I'm also going to attempt to dye my hair grey this evening. Um, so you might notice that the ends are like a very brassy, orange, blonde. So I'm going to tone it, silver shampoo it, and then attempt to get it grey so we'll see how that goes but let's have a look at what I got I mean can we just look at it all look at how cute the packaging is what do they say on the back oh they have like pretty ladies on pretty ladies um I already have two mini ones of these um I don't have this the conditioning primer, it looks so good. Um, see if I can zoom in and it'll focus okay. Then we have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which was also in, I think it was Elle magazine this month. I saw quite a lot of people saying it was really, really stiff and hard. Lol, innuendo bingo. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It didn't look that way when we went to when I went to the event and saw it, but we'll have to see, I guess. Thing is with magazines, they're left in like cold storage rooms and um, magazine bins until they get put out on the stands. So that can make them go hard. Well, can make this go hard. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then finally we have Cabral, which they actually used on my brows at the event. Um, and I loved it. I absolutely adored it. It's amazing. It's like, uh, I don't know if they focus enough. It's a cream gel brow colour with brush. So it's kind of like a pomade, but a jelly pomade. Yeah, we'll say hybrid. So yes, I'm excited to use that because I did love it at the event. Um, and then, let's show you what's underneath. I have the Bleach London White Toner, which I'm going to put on first to try get the brassiness gone. Um and lighten the blonde obviously it's not going to lighten it like bleach but it should turn it more this kind of dark blonde than orange blonde then if that doesn't quite get it as light as I want I have the bleach um, London silver shampoo and conditioner I currently use the provoke one but it doesn't seem to affect my hair as well as it used to when I first started using it so I'm going to try this. It was on three for two as well. So on um, hair care in boots. So might as well get them all. And then they didn't have a, sil a grey or silver hair colour in boots. So I went to Superdrug and got this one. I ordered it online in fact because I was scared that it would be sold out in store. And I ordered this one because I thought this one would probably go best better with my darker roots but you can't see the side of the box where it shows you like the hair swatches online um so i got this and then i was looking in store and i wish i'd got the color lighter because the color that was lighter than this showed it actually going on to a hair color that was similar to mine like i don't know if you can see because the box is reflecting the camera but mine's like between these so that is let's focus it that color is probably like a mix between those two is is just 
not really going to work on my hair, I don't think. We shall see. We'll see what it goes like. And I totally forgot to pick up a brown hair dye as well in case it all goes wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing that tonight. It's going to be such a ball ache because um, I don't have a bath. I only have a shower. My sinks are not big enough to wash my hair over. So it's going to mean like putting the toner on, getting a shower and washing my hair, drying my hair, seeing what colour it goes. If that doesn't work properly enough, then I'm going to have to put these on, get another shower, wash my hair, dry my hair again, and then do this. Get another shower, wash my hair, dry my hair again, and see how it ends up. So that's three showers, three hair washes, and three hair dries. And it takes about half an hour for my hair to dry. It's going to be a long one, um, but I've got some gin, so all is well with the world. Um, and if it goes wrong, I can just cry and figure out what the bloody hell I'm going to do because tomorrow I'm at two events and I can't really be going with like green hair so we'll see all right I'm going to go and start this process now because it'll take me like three hours or something so I'll keep checking in at each stage and let you know wish me luck hello I'm back with round one of um toning this is toning round one of going grey and that's toner so we'll see how it goes to leave it on for 20 minutes. Um, it's difficult because this one particular one has got peroxide in. So it's kind of like difficult not to get it on the brown bits. And I think I've got it on loads of the brown bits, but it's not got bleach in. So it shouldn't lift a, the color. It shouldn't turn it blonde, but I guess we'll see. Percy, get your ass off of the internet. Nobody needs to see that. Jamie. So we will see how it goes. I've got my um, smashing Ocado bag on my head. Five pence this cost me. Um, expensive hairdo. So we'll see how it goes. I will check in once I've washed it off and dried it a little bit to see the colour. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. Wish me luck because I'm probably going to need it all. Now how do I turn this thing off? hi guys so um i don't know if you can see very well but the toner doesn't seem to have made one little bit of difference <sighs> boo it's time to come for it to come off now it's been 20 minutes but i think i'm gonna leave it on for another five to ten minutes see if i can get anything better out of it boo so I'm going to give it 10 minutes, wash it off. I'm not even going to bother drying my hair to see what the results are. I'm just going to put some silver shampoo on and sit with that on for about an hour to two hours and see if that um, tones it anymore because this has done, by the looks of it, focus, this has done precisely nothing. I mean, it just still looks extremely brassy. And I know, obviously, I mean, look at that. It actually looks oranger. So, an extra 10 minutes, and then I'm going to wash it off and sit with some silver shampoo on for probably a lot of the night. So, I will check back in. I can't turn my camera off. I've got bleach on my hands now. Wow. I didn't realise I had mascara all over my face. I just got an extremely quick shower to see how it's going <laughs> I'm really gonna have to sort this out because this is not pretty but yeah it has made not one iota of difference still incredibly brassy um yes it's not gone well at all oh there's one little bit there that looks a bit yellow can't find it now but yeah it's not going good. I think I've got mascara on the side of my nose now as well. <laughs> so I just quickly washed it off, washed it off with some, um, <clears throat> the last little bit of my Provoke silver shampoo. So I am now <sighs> going to let this air dry for five, ten minutes, get the drippingness off of it. And then I am going to apply 
probably, um, I've taken the other bottle into the bathroom, but probably about half a bottle of this to the ends of my hair, but the shampoo version, obviously. Um, which is a bit annoying because the toner was seven quid and each bottle of these is five quid. And although it's on three for two, I'd have bought them even if they weren't. So it's annoying that I've wasted seven quid on a toner that's done feck all, basically. And then I'm going to have to use like £2.50's worth of silver shampoo. Pop bumps. Hi. So um, I've taken the purple shampoo off. I left it on for about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes-ish. I forgot to time it properly. Um, washed it off, dried the ends because I'm not dying the roots, so I don't really need to dry them just to wash them again. It has taken some of the brassiness out. Obviously you can't tell because orange light bulbs and whatnot, but it's taken it out a little bit. Probably could have done with leaving it on for another hour, but it might have not have done it. But I'm going to persevere and I am going to go have a gin and then put the dye on and see what happens. The dye does actually say that you cannot put it on yellow tones. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, pretty sure if you put yellow and grey together, it will come out green. Or I might just be imagining that to freak myself out. But yes, it definitely, because I've got in my bedroom, I've got my um, Hollywood mirror, which has daylight lights on. Um, so I've just been drying my hair there and it definitely doesn't look this yellow. Hopefully I can colour correct this video a little bit to take out the stupid orange lighting to show you. But yes, um, it's going to be difficult because the box does say that it will colour, because it's a semi-permanent dye, it will colour, it's not, it's a permanent dye. It will colour um, light brown hair. Mine's dark brown, but it just means I'm going to be extra, have to be extra careful where I put it to make sure I get it just on the blonde bits. Maybe a little bit just above the brown. So like if the blonde ends here, take it up to here to kind of blend it in. I've only got one box because I am only doing half my head, technically like this much but still a lot of hair um, and when I used to dye my hair red I'd get through like two to three boxes for a full head so I'm hoping I've got enough of the grey but I have to use it um, sparingly sparingly right I'm gonna go wish me luck hello everyone so I've come into the bedroom because I've just been drying my hair and the lighting is a little bit better in here um, also, excuse my sweaty face, it is so muggy today and I've just been, had the hairdryer on for like 20 minutes, my hair's not even dry, like the roots, I gave up. So as you can see, it's not really taken that well, some parts, I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but some parts just look a bit green and some parts look, like the ends look quite grey. It's like this midsection. I don't think I possibly put enough on. Sorry, I'm just checking myself out in my mirror. I don't think I possibly put enough on in like this section because I didn't want it to change like the darker section of my hair up here. So yeah, and I just I don't think my hair was actually light enough. I might get another one and um Put another dye on and take it further up so take it probably up to like here instead of i don't know i took i put more on on the ends and obviously the ends are more porous um like drier and stuff so they have they always take more but yeah i'm a bit disappointed it kind of like on the ends in some lights it looks gray in like there's some really light pieces there that have gone a lovely colour but in other places it just looks a bit of like a 
dull brown. I haven't put any styling stuff on it either. I don't know. Hmm. We shall see. I might go get another one during the week. I might get a lighter one. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to put another one on during the week and see how that goes and take it up further. But yeah, I actually don't even know if I like it on me at all. Maybe if it was done professionally. I might um, try to get some money together and go get it done professionally, bleached and turned. Look, you can still see it's all damp up there. I only wanted to dry the ends so I could see what it was like. So impatient. Yeah, it's nice to not have the like the orangey colour in for now. Keep checking myself out in my mirror. And in the viewfinder. But it's nice to not have like the orange brassiness. I don't know, I, I kind of miss my whole dark hair. Because I, I used to be bright blonde. And then when I went to Africa for a while, I dyed it red. And after that, I dyed it black. And then I didn't touch it for like a good five six years and all the colour had grown out of my hair because my hair grows really fast and um, there's just like this one really light bit what is it like blondy white so yes i kind of miss having my natural non-dyed hair but obviously there's dye from like bleach and dye from about there downwards so there's no way i'm gonna cut all that hair out because i like my long hair but yeah, not as good as I thought it would be. Bit of a disappointment. Hi guys, so it's Saturday morning. Um, I don't know why I started the film down there. Um, I've just got ready. I'm going to go for gin at Pinchera. They have a gin and um, gin and high tea, G and high tea, which is like a gin afternoon tea with a twist kind of thing. Um, they have a gin garden there which is open for the whole of the summer but it's just our look that the weather is pants today a hair update so you can see all the hair paraphernalia over there in the background a mess um, but yeah it's looking let me stand up a little bit it's looking a little bit grayer this morning but also like if you can see that bit looks seriously grey this bit looks mucky blonde um, some bits look like really dark grey some bits look a little bit green <clears throat> so it's um, a little all over but yeah I'm kind of happy with it I'd like it a little bit darker but we can't always get what we want <laughs> so yeah I'm going to definitely try put another one on it I might try put a lighter one on it um, see how that turns out I'm like addicted now this is the thing this is why I don't like dyeing my hair because um, when you go to the hairdressers it's set kind of you go for your roots when your roots have um you know Percival you want to be on the camera <gasps> are you going to be my little parrot okay you sat on my hair okay <laughs> can we stop now playtime's over are you doing what's this Okay, you're going now. Um, yes, yeah, so what was I saying before Percival attacked? Yes, when you go to the hairdressers, you generally go like every... For colours and stuff, like when your colour starts to fade and your roots go through. But this is the thing, that stops me from going OTT. But when it's box dyes, I'm like, yeah, I'll just put another one on every week. Um, especially because when I was red, I was like dyeing my hair every week because red fades and it's a bitch to keep normal oh, fluff all over my arm um so yes we shall see the next one down is really really light and my blonde is not light enough for that lightness to take um i'm hoping it might lighten this darkness a little bit i don't know lighten's still a little bit pants like it looks really gray there how it turns out on screen i don't know but we shall see it's still not been out and my window curtains in my bedroom are still shut and i don't have a mirror in the living room so we'll see when i go out and see what my mass is 
Yes, I'm taking my mum to gin today. And then later on, I am going to be a somebody's plus one for champagne night with, I can never say it, Moe and Shandon. I'm sure it's pronounced posher than that, but my common Leeds accent will not allow it. <laughs> so yes, it should be a fun day. Um, I'm not too sure about this lipstick I've got on. I do love it. But I don't know if I love it on me because it makes my teeth look orange and green and yellow and all the colours you don't want teeth to look. It's quite a warm tone to it so it's not good for my teeth because my teeth are shit. So exciting times. I'm going to go because there should be a lot of footage today. I shall remember to take my camera. I promise I'm going to go put it in my bag now. I'm going to decide which bag to take and put it in my bag and take you along with me. For gin, because everybody loves gin. There was something on my lens. Like all that video now is just going to be like annoying me when I'm editing it. Um, I've done nothing with my hair today. I brushed it, back combed the top a little bit and shoved a tiny bit of hairspray on. I didn't want to do too much to it, like curl it or anything before because then I'll have to curl it again tonight and I don't really like having heat treatments on my hair because for a start I'm a lazy bitch and secondly it ruins my hair sad times right I'm gonna go um get my shoes on and take you along for gin with me yay let's go get drunk responsibly bye guys <laughs> Sunday and you're probably wondering where the bejesus is the champagne bar footage but I didn't end up going um I went to start getting ready and lay my clothes out and went to find my tights and couldn't find them spent like 30 35 40 minutes searching everywhere for my tights um found them eventually under the sofa with Percy marks all over them. Percy must have found them, taken them under the settee and decided to use them as a scratching device. Stop it. No. He's scratching the settee. Um, yeah, so he, so they had ladders and holes and all sorts in them, so I couldn't go. Because there's no shops near me that sell like, little corner shops that have tights. Um, there's not even really any corner shops and definitely not in my size um, so yeah I couldn't go so I ended up just staying and watching the football um, speaking to my bestie who was drunk in bed um, and that's it um, excuse the state at the minute um, I'm filming a first impressions for YouTube obviously where else would I be filming it for but um, my camera died halfway through so I'm just waiting for it to charge and thought I would check in 
Um, I'm not going to tell you my thoughts on the stuff, but um, will it focus? Yes. But you'll have to tune in to see. Um, it should be up actually on Tuesday, so Monday. Yes, I'm going to edit it tonight and it should go up tomorrow because tomorrow on the blog is the start. <laughs> I didn't even realise Percy was there. How are you doing? Yeah, tomorrow is the start of High Street Beauty Week on my blog. I'm doing a full week devoted to like drugstore high street kind of beauty that you can get in like boots and stuff. So yeah, the video coincides with that. Watching the cat, make sure he's up to no good. Yeah, so the camera stopped. And I thought I'd check in on here. It's probably going to be my last, last only check in today. I've been doing a lot of yawning on these vlogs. Um, but yeah, it's probably going to be my only check in today because I'm going to spend the rest of the day editing that video. I've got a video to edit on the iconic London Evo brushes. Well, brush, not plural. And also, I have this vlog to edit. I also have some cooking to do. Um, I have to sort the house out. I have to sort my work clothes out. I have to sort my hair out. Hair update, by the way. Um, yes, it's... The thing is, I went out yesterday with my mum and she's like, oh, I prefer you blonde. I'm like, thanks, you could have told me that before I did it. But it's not very grey. So I think I might, like bits are, but... I think I might get the lighter colour of the dye. Um, try get this colour out as best I can. Um, using like head and shoulders or washing up powder liquid. I'll try to get it out and then dye it a lighter colour, see what happens then. Oh, I might not do anything because I'm lazy. But yes, so this will be my only check in because I have loads and loads to do and not stuff that you will find interesting because my life isn't very interesting as you've probably figured out from the vlogs. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I hope you're all having an excellent week um, because it will be Wednesday night when you see this. So yeah, I hope you're all having a great week. Um, it's nearly the weekend. Hang in there, you can do it. All that jazz. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and shiz. What else? Leave me a comment as well, a nice one, because I've been feeling really like disheartened with the whole vlogging and YouTube thing recently because I'm shit at it and that's reflected in the views that I get. So I think like last week's vlog got something like 35, 40 views and it's, it's a lot of work that goes into it and I'm not crying because I enjoy it and it's something that I wanted to do but I think it's because my, my blog did so well quite early on in my Twitter and stuff that I make I was kind of expecting it to follow and it hasn't but leave me a nice comment please if you've made it this far I'll cry <laughs> I won't because I'm a heartless bitch but yeah I hope you're having a fab week um see you all next week <laughs>